Hello class, hello for grade. It's super nice as always that you are here today and I hope you are ready as I am to start with this new class. I'm really, really happy as always uh, because you are all doing an excellent job by sending me your activities and that is super great because I know you are having like a good and excellent effort and your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, uncles are helping you to do your activities and yes it's a family work and thank you for that because I know it's difficult sometimes but it, it is worth it. Like. Thank you so much and keep working like that because you are going to be grateful about this. So today, as always, I want to start by doing a review about the activities that we did yesterday. And yesterday we were working in the vocabulary, as you can remember. These vocabulary activities were on the workbook because we started using the workbook and they were on workbook pages 40 and 41 we were doing like some activities about this maybe you were like a little bit confused in activity 2 if you have questions about this please send a message to me and I'm going to answer as fast as I can so it is like really easy we were just practicing the vocabulary from the unit as you can see the unit is called how do you feel and we're talking about health problems, illnesses, and when you're feeling bad, and something like that. Also, we are talking about uh, the things that you can do to feel better, and giving advices. And for example, we have in the vocabulary allergies, coughing, fever, headache, sneezing, sore throat, stomachache. But then we are going to be learning some others, like you are going to see in the vocabulary. Later we did the song called coughing, fever, sneezing, stay home, stay in bed, and tea. These are some remedies, okay? Now, today we're going to practice the reflexive pronouns. I saw your activities and you are doing it great. We are just going to review if you keep having some doubts about it, but you are doing it great. Like really you need to believe me because you are doing an excellent job i know that i have been telling this a lot of times but it's true so uh, here i have another chart in this part we have the subject pronouns the pronouns that we usually use when we are going to make sentences and different kinds of questions answers negative sentences etc these are the ones that we know and in the other side, here we have the reflexive pronouns. Remember, uh, the reflexive pronoun is not going to take the place of the subject pronoun. It is going like, uh, no, no va a sustituir el pronombre reflexivo al, al sujeto. No lo, va a, no lo va a sustituir, ¿ok? Eh, se les muestra aquí a un lado En, en esta tabla y en la tabla que les habían mostrado la semana pasada es para que ustedes relacionen cuando se va a usar qué pronombre reflexivo as you can see we have myself, yourself, himself, herself, itself, ourselves, yourselves and then selves. Remember, we have yourself and yourselves because here it says it's plural, okay? So the first example says you should take care of yourself, okay? Here we have the reflexive pronoun. She should take better care of herself. So as you can see, the subject pronoun in here is she. So for that reason, we are going to use herself you can see she herself he you should take care of yourself okay i'm using you yourself and the last one he hurt himself he with himself okay so uh, remember that it is used when you are doing an action for example uh, you should take care of yourself uh, i'm giving this advice to you and you need to do the action, okay? So for example, number two says, you sh she should take better care of herself. She, who, she. But what is he going 
who is she going to take care of herself okay it's like a, a, i do the action i receive the action okay so if you have questions about this don't worry we are going to be practicing this and then we have some activities and today we're going to do two pages for the workbook page 42 and 43 and the first activity is activity 5 says read then answer the questions so the story is called your heart and this is a story that we already read when we were doing the activities for the students book we read this story but it was like longer and then you have three questions what are sam and christina doing number two what does sam think christina should see number three what does sam think christina should do okay you are going to answer for example number one uh, what are sam and christina doing they are eating they are playing okay remember this needs to be in ing because the question is doing with ing gerund okay con ing tiene que ser tu verbo porque así está la pregunta so number two says what does sam think christina should see okay she should see who does sam think christina should see in this case your the questions that they are giving you is with should so you need to answer using should ok como aquí en esta pregunta te la están haciendo usando should en tu respuesta tienes que usar, usar should for example she should see her mom she should see the teacher she should see the doctor and number three what does sam think christina should do she should um, visit the doctor she should take care of herself okay you need to use should in number two and number three number six read and complete the sentences and this says i fell and cut my knee ouch and it says in the box bandage run nurse rest okay so in the box you're going to write you have an example and it says you should see the school nurse and you're going to uh, write three more sentences by using the words that you have in the box you should bandage you should or shouldn't run you should este ya se usada okay you're going to write a sentence using bandage run or rest for example i wrote you shouldn't okay here you have you shouldn't you are going to write you shouldn't uh, put a bandage you shouldn't run you shouldn't rest cuál crees tú que sería un correcto consejo use should or shouldn't for example i wrote you should put a bandage on it you should rest you shouldn't run okay you are going to use these words to make answers and sentences same big activity look at five again what happens next in the story right okay so uh, here we don't have what uh, christina did later if she vis visited the nurse uh, I think she didn't because she did she didn't have like a real cut no era real so what happened next uh, because the friend Sam he was scared and he was upset about what he thought was happening to Christina so you should say like for example I think Sam went to visit the nurse because he was feeling like really bad or something like that okay so it's up to you to continue the story and write it in here and then uh, activities on page 43 activity 7 says listen and match we're going to read this first so we can complete these activities number one michael's dad thinks he should number two vicky should number three jean sue has a bat uh, or Jinso 
Eh, number four, Emily's big sister shoot. Number five, Danny's grandma, grandfather. And number six, Sally has. In the other side, we have letters A from uh, to F. A, headache. B, take better care of herself. C, takes good care of himself. D, have some crackers. E, allergies. F, lie down and rest. So you are going to match, like in the example, Michael dad, Michael's dad thinks he should have some crackers. So you are going to, ra to match with the listening. Okay, here you have the first one. You can use different colors so you don't get confused when you, it comes to matching. So uh, right now, as always, I'm going to play the audio. Try to pay attention and listen carefully. Workbook, page 43, activity seven. Listen and match. One. What's the matter, Michael? My stomach hurts. Would you like some crackers? They help me feel better. Okay. Two. What's the matter, Vicky? I don't know. I don't feel good. It feels like you have a fever. You should lie down and rest. Three. Hey, Jinsu. Are you okay? No, I have a bad headache. You should take some aspirin and drink some water. You're right. Four. Hey, Emily. What's wrong with your big sister? Millie is sick. That's too bad. Well, she always stays up late and eats junk food. Hmm, she should take better care of herself. Five. Dennis, your grandfather looks so young. I can't believe he's 85. I know. He takes care of himself. What does he do? He eats well, he exercises, and gets plenty of sleep. Six. Sally, what's the matter? Achoo! I can't stop sneezing. I feel terrible. It sounds like you have allergies. Okay, that's it. So activity eight says read and circle T for true or F for false. Okay. So now we have a, a conversation between the nurse and Jessica and you're going to read this. And when you finish reading this, you are going to match, you're going to circle T for true or for false. Number one, Jessica feels great. Number two, Jessica has a stomachache. Number three, Jessica has a toothache. Number four, the nurse thinks Jessica is sick. Number five, Jessica should go to the dentist. And that's it. So don't forget to take pictures of these two pages, send them to me so I can check if you have questions about this. Um, send them to me and I'll be happy to check. So that's it for today. Remember that tomorrow we are going to have the Zoom meeting, the live class, and we are going to be working on the workbook too. So no vamos a usar el step inside. We are going to use the workbook. Try to be there. We are going to be doing three pages. You can check the assignment if you want to know what are we going to do. And yes. I'll meet you there, try to be on time, and I'll see you then. Goodbye!